All right, so Diddy is facing 120 new accuser allegations over a 20-year span, Woo. which is crazy. I didn't think we were going to talk about Diddy again for maybe a week or two at least. But, yeah, I saw uh, this right, right about two hours ago. Yeah, so there's new SA uh, allegations, mm. uh, and they're mounting, and the Texas attorney, Tony Busby, is announces his uh, representation of 122 victims spanning 20. Now, he doesn't... He doesn't Tell stories for all 120. I was but, about to say, like, but this is just kind of a short little snippet of the press conference. Today. Let me let me share with you a few a few just kind of give you a sense of the kind of cases and the kind of instances that uh, people are calling and reporting that we are trying to corroborate, vet, uh, and these are the ones that we've already corroborated, vetted, and collected evidence on. One individual who was 22 years at the time. The, the typical mo at one of these parties when you are handed a drink. And now we know that the drink is laced with something. If you refuse to drink it, you were kicked out of the party. Uh, and now we know that, that in, in most cases, I would say 90% of the cases, these individuals were drugged with some sort of drug. That's, that was kind of the MO. Another instance, uh, this individual who was nine years old at the time, taken to a audition in New York City with Bad Boy Records. Crazy. Another instance, Crazy, another minor, uh, told allegedly by Sean Combs that he would make him a star, but he needed a visit with him in private about it, away from his parents. A very young man what? told us over the phone about Crazy. his experience in the effort to try to sign a record deal, what he was told he would have to do. His quote is, had he not been in power, I feel like I could have been something great. I quit the industry because of what Sean Combs did to me. And that's really what it comes down to. Yeah. Oh, oh man. Oh, that's crazy, bro. Okay, because up until this point, it's been about people who are of age, you know, or at least at least of age, honestly, to, to drink and party or drugs, whatever. You can right. really, that's really age for drugs. But um, OK, now when we start hearing nine years old. Yeah, this is something else. So that clip is actually I cut two pieces. It's actually the first part was about the nine year old and this, the other part was about another minor. So, see, yeah, yeah, see, I was actually ready to. <clears throat> Going the whole spill about it, and this is not a victim blaming situation. Mm -hmm. I was wondering if, since these allegations that came up, the NDAs expired mm. because it's and this happens all the time. Every time one person jumps out the window, everybody follows. Yeah, but to me, it it always sits wrong with me for somebody that this is bothering, and it takes for them to get in trouble for you to say something. Almost like, and, and like I said, I'm not victim blaming or anything like that, but some people are out for the wrong things and other people need closure. But when you start talking about kids are involved, that made me feel a whole totally yeah. different type of way. So I'm, I'm hoping, no, I can't, I can't even say I'm hoping that those are true allegations. I hope those are fake. Yeah. yeah. I don't like hearing that. Yeah. I, I think the only thing that I would say to that is like a lot of times with situations like this you can't really do anything until you have enough steam or you have enough built up to like actually make a case and what state was and that so texas, uh, texas. yeah mm. so yeah that's um but we're talking about 120 people and that's the thing a lot is, and they say he said that the he actually was going through and actually vetting them too he's like this mm -hmm. is 120 of people that we've actually vetted so, so there's probably people who was like who might have just trying to make it a cash grab and were like no nah, right. dog come on yeah that's it's disgusting, man. Yeah, that's yeah, man. that's just too. And once again, man, like, where is the person? Like, I just feel like if say one of us just got uh, uh, crazy drunk with <laughs> power and ego, there'd be some, one of us, uh, you know, would be like, "Hey, man, you might need put to, the baby oil this down." Ain't yeah, that. yeah, exactly. This ain't that. You know where? You know, I just, I just wonder. This is when when you really realize you don't have any real friends. Or maybe it's just you got so many people on payroll who are afraid to say anything to you. Yeah. They're like, "Hey." D dog, let's just go home. No, nah, them yes, those those yes man fees are pretty expensive. You pay pay enough, everybody just sit back in the cup. You know, and once again, like your 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 Diddy, there are people who are of age who are not yeah. gonna say no. Bruh. You know what I'm saying? So you don't. The people are gonna say no. Be like, okay, you're dismissed, and they can want... feel some kind of way about that. Yeah. But it's not a crime for that you to part. tell people if you don't want to get down with my freak. You can leave that part. Yeah, I almost don't even want to make jokes about it anymore until I found out that this kid's situation. Yeah, now you real. bring kids into it. Yeah, that ain't it. It, it, bro. it changes the whole picture for me. Yeah, yeah. I agree, Terry. That I've, ain't I've it. seen I've seen quite a few like I mean I've seen quite a few like 
TikTok videos of people like coming out and explaining like stories that they've been through and stuff mm-hmm. like that. And I had some, some, some mod, I, I mentioned another one a couple of weeks ago, but there was another video I saw of somebody who t- said that she was in a room and her agent was in the room at the same time. And in the past, her like agent has already has her own thing that's already been going on in the yeah. background. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And so she didn't even want to mention anything about that, but she's like, yeah, I was in a room with, and she, she said, I was in a room with Diddy and Kanye and a whole bunch of people and everybody left. And I, I didn't drink the drink. And next thing I know, they're out and, you know, they're, I'm pressed up against the, the back of the whatever. And I kind of pushed for it. And he, she's like, she actually mouthed help to people that were in the room and they just kind of turned and looked away. Dang. And it was just kind of like, she's like, oh, this is where, this is where we're at, you know? Mm-hmm. And so I don't know, man, the, the, all that of it's kind of wild, all of it's kind of wild, but I didn't really expect this, I mean, maybe I get, I, maybe I did expect more I allegations more to come accusers. out. Yeah, but maybe not, but, I didn't see that part. But no. maybe not to like this extent. Mm-mm. All right. Yeah, that ain't it. No, no. Don't like that. 